take this as sort of an update video. This is, it's not really breaking news or anything like that. It's just more or less a peek behind the curtain because if you've been watching my content for, I don't know, like the past month or so, any of the newer stuff that comes out, you're going to know that, well, uh, it kind of hit a brick wall. I'm going to be completely honest with everybody. We're going to get 100% behind the scenes on this one because I've been doing this now, uh, I think at the end of August. I uh, can't remember the specific date. August 23, August 23rd, because uh, I had to get the references right beforehand. So yeah, that will mark my four-year anniversary. So I've been doing this for, yeah, a little bit more than three and a half years every single day starting October 5th because I also had to take a look at that three videos a day even when I was banned even when I got suspended on YouTube consistently and continuing the, the grind over on Rumble on Odyssey all these different outlets and you know what it's it's not that I'm getting burnt out this is one of those Hassan pikers oh I'm just here to complain how hard it is to stream or create content I love what I do I cannot stress that enough this has been the most fun the most fulfilling thing I have ever done in my entire life. It is my dream to make this work, but when you start to take a look at uh, all the numbers, um, it's not exactly something. It's not something at all that, um, you know, you can really reconcile anymore when you dump thousands of hours, th literal thousands of hours, right? Because I have well over my combined output. We got what? 30 plus last year did what 30 some odd live streams okay uh, over the course of my career since the end of 2020 all the way through till today over 4,000 videos each and every one of those videos I'll tell you okay every one of them from concept to recording to editing to doing all of the behind the scenes graphic design tags descriptions everything every video It'll take at least for me for about a 10, I normally put out like my average is between 10, 15 minute video sometimes because I've been trying a couple of different things. Like I said, if you've been watching, you know, closer over the past month or so, I've been trying different things going into different topics. Some have worked, some haven't. And I'm totally fine with that. And that's great. Been experimenting with a couple of, you know, shorter type videos. See if that's what you guys like. I don't really know for sure until I try it. And yeah. All of those videos still, if we're taking a look at the average video that I have out on my channel of about 12 to 15 minutes, that from concept, that's from concept to completion by the time that you guys see it. And then also with a couple of other additional things, which I'll talk about over the top of it, because this is going to be a full peak. Okay. Somebody who's been doing this, uh, who has seen moderate success, and then to have platforms completely and totally dog you over, you spend on average, I would say about three hours per video. I would say three hours if it's if it's something that I know, if it's references that I can have, just bang, 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 bang. The recording time probably takes, it probably takes the least amount of time. Add or editing. Normally, because I don't really do a whole bunch of editing, mostly because, well, I don't really know how to do a bunch of editing, but I've got some plans for the end of the year, potentially. It'll require me to get good on that one. But it's mostly just uh, chopping out some dead space when I'm trying to pull up another reference if I was thinking about something at the time. And then it's like, oh, yeah, that would be helpful for this video. So, yeah, bringing that up and then, you know, just cutting out the dead time and making everything flow a little bit more importantly and correctly. And then, yeah, the biggest time consuming stuff is creating the thumbnails, is doing the back end tags and description stuff where that makes it more discoverable and you could have the best content in the world because, well, I'm not trying to be arrogant and just somebody in my niche, take a look at my contemporaries and I think I'm just as good, if not better, than some of the bigger outlets and some of the bigger personalities that are there. It's just when you have YouTube, when you have YouTube and I can take a look at my, I obsessively look at my analytics because this is my job. This is what I do 24 seven, 365. Like I said, I haven't missed a single day since August 23rd. I don't know why that's so difficult to say, but August 23rd, 2020, every single day. And since October 5th, 2020, I've put out three videos a day. Nobody, nobody has put in more work than me during that time. I cannot find a contemporary. I cannot find somebody that stays on my work level. And recently, for whatever reason, YouTube has been absolutely messing around with my reach. And it's, it's frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I think I'm good. 
if you guys think I'm good, if you guys continue to come back to the channel, support me however you do by simply watching the videos. I'm totally cool with that. That's fantastic. I never thought, I never thought five years ago I'd have the size of platform that I do, that I'd have over 1.6 million views. That's so crazy to think about. It's legitimately humbling that people take my opinion and give me an opportunity 1.6 million times. That's crazy to think about. It's also crazy to continue to work at this same level, to continue to chase a dream if it just doesn't make sense anymore. And tough, man. It's really tough sometimes. So sometimes you just have to face facts. You just have to take a look at yourself in the mirror. You know that things either have to change or they're going to have to change in another respect. Chasing dreams, following your passion, this stuff that is simply reserved for the fairer sex. There's a burden of performance that are placed on men. Talk about it a lot. And you know what? When the rubber hits the road, when you realize that you've been doing this for four years, you've been working nonstop every week. Another peek behind the curtain. I record at least as many videos as you see a go up every week, if not more, anywhere between 21 and 25, I think the most. The most that I did in a week, it was right around November when everything was really cooking for the channel like 30 videos and they were a pretty substantial size that was a lot that was a lot and i sacrificed my entire holiday season in front of a computer talking into a microphone banging on a keyboard moving a mouse around making things look and sound and joking and form as best as humanly possible and i'm not complaining about that like i said i love doing this stuff it is the most fulfilling thing that i've ever done in my life but fulfilling doesn't put food on the table Fulfilling doesn't keep you above water financially. And that's just that's just the sad truth. Okay. So I seen this I seen this thread where this long post by Roberto Blake. Shout out to him. Like I said, don't take this as a complaining. Okay. Or don't take this as a complaint. This isn't, you know, oh, this is so much harder than anything else. No, this is just the reality. Okay. This is the reality of content creators of my size, just passing 69 nice hundred subscribers okay far more successful i'm like i said i'm incredibly thankful i'm somebody who had no internet presence before starting this stuff I had a deactivated facebook account didn't have twitter still don't have instagram like there's nothing i was on prior to this i had what a ghost youtube account that i still use to watch other content like i was a i was a nobody i still am a nobody in the grand scheme of things i'm just an asshole with a nice webcam a good sounding microphone and opinions that i'd like to share with the world and it seems to resonate with people i'm just built well enough to you know what uh, handle the load shoulder the load continue the grind day in and day out but while i can continue to be a plow horse if these fields aren't bearing any crops um i don't know what to say man so i see these i see this thread and i know it's like this this is the grind and i can validate that because i'm going to show you guys some numbers my rumble numbers and my youtube numbers those are the ones that are really relevant and those are the places where i have the most reach the biggest views and well you can go ahead and judge for yourself where you're at you judge for yourself if you think that my work ethic is valid <laughs> you can see if this is something that you are willing to do if you've thought about it in the back of your mind if you just don't get put on if you don't have a famous uncle if you don't catch a break with some algorithm that favors you for the moment instead of just randomly decides to suppress you it's so wild to think in the middle of march okay in the middle of march prior to that i was what getting about 10 15 it would fluctuate it would be about a reliable 10 to 15 thousand views per week like things were cooking man in a 48 hour spend it would get yeah two three thousand views things were cooking things were looking up and then just just like that from about march 15th all the way until the first couple of days of april i couldn't break a hundred views on a video nothing was changing nothing was changing with the content everything was hunky dory hitting the issues that i thought were relevant that i seen everybody else getting views on but for whatever reason i got black hold things are thankfully starting to turn around again which is fantastic and i thank you guys of course it's just knowing that my fate is not in my hands knowing that all my hard work at this point in time is being held below water for reasons that escape me um it's just it's just time to really take stock and figure out what's going on but yeah let's set the stage let's set the stage i've had this post up for a while i want to read through it i think it's a great post and like i said i can back this stuff up okay 
I can fill in the gaps that aren't provided here with some real life examples. So hot take for the people who don't think YouTube is a real job or hard work. Well, it is, very much is. I can tell you, I can tell you with this, the average working class, oh credit, uh, tends to spend five to 10 hours on their work per video. Yeah, okay, you put all the work, you put the three, the free, vi <laughs> the three videos at least that I put out every single day for the guts of four years, 24 seven, 365, I'm putting in at least 10, 12. Back in the days when I was streaming three days a week, that was a lot, man. That was getting to be a whole hell of a lot from the morning or from the moment I wake up in the morning until I rest my head on the pillow at night. I'm putting in between 14, sometimes 20 hours a day. I'm, I'm not lying, man. Whether it's getting material, doing research, making sure that I can make my proper or proper references. From the moment I wake up, I'm answering emails, looking at analytics, putting out any fires that might end up happening. And that is from, yeah, my alarm goes off at seven o'clock till I go to bed at some nights. I think the latest I've worked till uh, six o'clock in the morning. Not, yeah, man. Recently trying to make things work. I've been I've been pulling 20 hour days just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. What can I do in order to make this work? Because I'm I'm at the end of my rope on this one. I have no idea what to do in order to make this a su make this a success. I'm moving on uh, to a fair rate. That effort is 150 to 250 hours would be break even. Yeah, no, fair enough. And that's only what $25 an hour. Yeah, no, it might seem to be on the high end for some people, but take a look at everything that's involved and it doesn't really seem that uh, above board okay or i'm sorry too far out of the realm of possibilities the average rpm revenue per thousands of views yes that's the way that you get paid on all these social media platforms okay Th or per thousand views you end up getting whatever the payout is okay so across most niches that aren't finance and don't make extremely long content with a ton of ads yeah, Minecraft is about $3 per 1,000 view. I'm going to show you guys what my uh, RPM is here very shortly on YouTube and on Rumble. And yeah, it's a little bit better than $3, but then again, I don't put a ton of ads on my stuff, mostly because if I would be consuming it without having YouTube premium, I don't like content that has, you know, just a whole bunch of ads, okay? If I have something that's extremely long, if I have a video like my, something that really broke my heart at the end of last year was my year in review video that I put. That that one right there yeah that one was like a 14 hour video i poured everything into that and barely get like 200 views that was a kick in the nuts i had what in a two and a half hour long video i had three or four ad breaks so yeah for every half hour i'd put a vi uh, i'd put an ad in there i didn't think that that's too much and that's normally what i do if i have a video that comes out if i have a live stream that comes out that's anything over an hour yeah, I'll put an ad break in there, but otherwise there's one at the beginning, there's one at the end, you do what you want with the rest of the content. I, I think that that's totally fair. I think that that's better than everybody else in my genre. Everybody else will go, what, two or three minutes before they put an ad break? And it's like, no, man, that cuts up the content. That ruins your experience. And I know that some people, you know, some people are fine with, you know, clicking the skip ad button. But no, I don't want to have to do that to you guys. I think that that's dirty business. But yes, which means average YouTuber must make roughly 50 to 100,000 views per video to break even in labor costs alone for what they do. Even with a $10 RPM, like, uh, the author of this, mine's not 10, mostly because, well, the type of content that I talk about and discuss, uh, YouTube deems to be high risk. So the news, the breaking news stuff, that's in the high risk category. So it's 10 to 20,000 views to break even on basic standard rate for editing and production labor at the lowest ethical rates for that work. So even still, man, I'm not asking for the moon. I think like if I could work for $25 an hour, I'll be completely honest because I've talked about my terrible jobs that I've worked at in the past. That is well and above, I think, all but one. But that was a video that, or I'm sorry, that was a job that required me standing out in the freezing cold, getting shot in the face with 2000 PSI water and a bunch of mud and rocks. Talked about my hydrovac work before. It was the only time I made above $25 an hour. At or above, I can't remember. That was a long time ago. But yeah, working in warehouses, making $15 an hour. Busting my bag, doing 10-hour a day sh or sales job for about 15 I'm not asking for the moon. Hell, I'm not even asking for fair or ethical rates. I'm just, like I said, I'm at the end of my rope. I want to show you my examples here. Uh, we're, we're just going to have to have some, we're going to have to have some real talk here. But here's some stats from YouTube, right? 88% 
90% of videos uploaded never get a thousand views. I can tell you when things are cooking on the channel, like they have been for the past six months or so outside of the really terrible down period in March, every day, one of the three videos or even collectively, some days, all three will get over a thousand. Some will hit 22, 2,500 collectively on the day. Like I said, in a 48 hour period between, I would say two and 5,000 views in 48 hours. Yeah. That's what I would end up getting if I had some older content from earlier in the week that would hit. Yeah, that would normally aggregate to that, okay? 2% to get uh, 1,000 to 10,000 views, which is crazy to think about, but then you think about the amount of content that goes up on YouTube, that's wild to think about. And 1% to get 10 to 100,000 views. 1%, 1%. I think I have, yeah, 10 or 15 videos across that 10,000, that five digit barrier. And yeah, man, that's a great feeling. But to know that that's the top 1% and even the top 2% is over a thousand, I know I'm in an incredibly privileged position. 90%, this is where it starts to get a little bit discouraging. 90% of all views goes to the top 3% of all the channels worldwide. Like I said a little bit earlier, I think I'm as good I think I'm as good as my contemporaries, if not better in some aspects, but experience this firsthand, okay? Especially when the Trevor Bauer stuff was uh, really cooking, breaking in 2021. I had under a thousand subs or something like that. And I was just talking about the topic and getting good traction on it. Over thousands, thousands of views per video. Somebody in the comment section. Now I will never, ever forget this. I love your content. love what you're talking about. You're definitely speaking the truth, but you're just not big enough for me to share to anybody else. It's like, wow. So, so every metric that you can perceive is good. It's solid. It's something that, you, that resonates with you just because I don't have a check mark next to my name, just because I don't have that silver play button in the background. You can't, my, my video's not worth it, huh? Okay. 65% of traffic goes to overseas non-English content. That's actually shocking, but not in the way that you think. I just thought that um, the non-English content would be bigger because, well, a lot of the world doesn't speak English, right? Uh, the average YouTube channel takes five years to become profitable, which is wild, man. And what does profitable even mean? Does that mean above the break even that this guy's uh, calculated? Does that mean even just turning a profit? Because, okay, cool. I got monetized, what was that, right after the Amber Heard, or right at the beginning of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard stuff, okay, in 2022, right at the beginning of 2022. I didn't get my first YouTube paycheck. I didn't break the $100 threshold until, what was that, May? And then it was sporadic after that. I think I got paid out two more times in 2022, if I can remember correctly, but yes. Uh, which means operating at a loss for those five years, which I can attest to, man, uh, for the four years that I've been out here. Like I said, I hadn't turned a profit. I haven't made money off of YouTube, off of social media until... What was that? May? May or June 2022? And I didn't start getting consistently paid until the beginning of 2023? That's that's the facts, man. The average creator uploads 500 videos before they become successful. I'm on, well, over 4,000 at this point in time. For reference, Mr. Beast made 460 videos just to get to 10,000 subscribers. So yeah, no, the, there's definitely hope. The biggest guy on the platform, the biggest individual creator had to catch a wave at 460 videos, which again, again a little bit more sporadic. So yeah, hey man, it is what it is. And his first 100 videos, I uh, got him a less than 800 subscribers and he was making an average of a dollar a day. Yeah. And attest to that being true, the average sunk cost of one year of weekly uploads to YouTube is 6250 to 12500 not counting expenses and only labor costs. And if you want to run that twenty five or $25 an hour marker to the amount of effort that I put in, I'm not complaining. Like I said, it's just <laughs> go ahead and run the math for yourself. But in a five year attempt, it's thirty to sixty thousand dollars in opportunity cost, fifteen to thirty thousand if you want to downplay opportunity cost, the minimum wage, part time work equivalent. This is just production and editing and doesn't account for graphic design, script writing, or research. Yeah, there you go. Or investment in hardware, software, or learning. Yeah, I also had a computer. Thankfully, I got to repair my computer, but that was a not inexpensive cost. That was a CPU and a motherboard that just decided to go kerplurk on an incredibly high-end machine. And yeah, the boy had to you know, scrounge and save and figure out how the hell he was going to make it work. But I did. 
and moving along. And this is just someone who has a minimal viable level of technical skill and knowledge. Uh, uh, oh yes, and being an entertainer. Yes, exactly. If someone has a speciality in bringing a trade or a skill or a white collar profession to YouTube, their opportunity cost and labor is significantly more and a minimum of two to three to start before. Exactly. And I also run, yeah, health and fitness stuff, which erroneously got taken off of YouTube at the beginning of 2023. Yeah, at the beginning of last year, it just got yeeted. Uh, you just, we don't like your channel anymore. Why is that? We, we don't. So we got rid of that one. Yeah, uh, I have a personal... Tr I'm a certified personal trainer, right? I went to college. I got my exercise physiology degree, bachelor in science, you know, all that crap. So yeah, I'm well versed in that stuff. And I still talk about it over on Rumble. So if you're watching this over on Rumble, you know, those videos go up every weekday at 6 p.m. And I talk about nutrition, fitness, exercise, anything and everything in between over there. Have a lot of fun doing it. And it drives pretty decent viewership over on Rumble. But we'll take a look at those numbers on Rumble here very shortly. And well, you can deduce if it's worth with my expertise like my going rate when it comes to train it's fifty dollars an hour i'm just gonna go ahead and see if that uh, passes the smell test over there but it's cute to say youtube isn't a real job and big creators have to say everyone has it harder than them and the job is fun and easy so people think that they are humble and don't cancel them well yeah i i can tell you like this is the most fun that i've ever had doing anything and no it's not easy i've had harder jobs but it's a different type of difficult and you face different problems. And you're an idiot if you don't see that. Because yeah, ditch digging is different than working as an accountant, but you both face different types of issues. And when you're a content creator, when you think that things are on the rise only to get stifled by these platforms, it's not fun. And if you think, oh, it's just so easy, oh, you could just go over to Rumble where you won't get stifled. Well, like I said, man, okay, here's my here's my page. Here's the about section, right? As you can see, this is Rumble uh, over here. Open the channel, November 18th, okay, 2020. So outside of everybody else, just go, oh, you should go to Rumble. I was using Rumble before any of you motherfuckers actually knew what Rumble was. 4,000 videos, at least at time of recording. By the time that you see this, it'll probably be over that anyways. So yeah, 4,100 videos, call it there, okay? 4,100 videos over there on this platform and well my entire lifetime my, my lifetime earnings 50 bucks 50 dollars 50 dollars cpm over on rumble two dollars 32 cents and yeah okay as you can see raw views over there 448,000 unique views. I don't know what the difference between these two things are. I just about a quarter million views over there. You take a look at what I get paid out every single day. April 9th, eight cents for uh, 961 views. 10 cents for, oh, 748 views on the 8th, uh, cooking that day. Oh, a over a thousand views on April 4th. Got me 15 whole cents. 15 whole, just go over to Rumble. Make it work over on Rumble. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. How can somebody who puts out three videos a day make it work on, a mon on money that would keep an African kid starving, according to UNICEF? Okay, but what about YouTube? Right, okay. YouTube is definitely the bigger platform, has better ad rates, okay. 1.6 million views. It's the one that I've been using the longest, okay. And as you can see, you can actually, yeah, you can. I don't know if you can make out what my views are at the time of recording this, but yeah, in the past 48 hours, 4,700 views. Pretty good for me. 16,000 views over the week. It's just pretty normal pretty normal okay and this is well after all of the videos because i have to record at night mostly because i'm working on the other stuff during the day and this is the last video that i'm recording in the day anyway so you know, it is what it is but yeah through rate uh, i've seen uh analytics where yeah that's just about right in the middle there but as you can see yeah 1.6 million views since the beginning of my channel and yeah everything really didn't start to uptick aside of you know just that one that kind of use everything where I had the biggest video that I ever had, at least to this point, 25, I think that one, yeah, it stopped just before 24,000. That one, I'm just like, wow, that one ended up getting shadow banned to hell and back because it has a hockey stick and then just plateaus right after 24,000 views. And like I said, that happened two years ago. I don't even think that it's hit 25,000 views yet. It's absolutely wild, but yeah, everything really started to uptick right after the Eliza Blue stuff, which yeah, no, okay, makes sense. 11,000 views, but then yeah, everything was on a nice consistent uptick where yeah, every single day would have a few thousand views, but you can notice the literature the little cavern that's right there where it's like 1200 a thousand 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 right there at the end of march where i was scratching my head going 
how much how much longer can I do this? How much longer can I do this? Given the fact that during the time that I've been monetized, like I said, you know, first got monetized, what was that? You know, made my first couple of cents, the 12th of June and so far, and so far, $2,400, $2,400 for what, over a million views? For over a million views. There's my monthly breakdown, okay? Like I said, I've been cooking. Things, things have been going good and I'm totally fine. I'm fine with that, but you can see it's going up and then all of a sudden end up getting kneecapped in March. And if you think thousands and thousands of hours, legitimately thousands of hours that I've poured into this project that I have bore my heart and soul out to for $2,400, in two years, in two goddamn years. Normally I'd be fine. Normally I would be fine, but start to look at this stuff and uh, start to reconcile the fact that, yeah, you know, just turned, just turned 34 in March. I see things trending upwards and then, then just notice that, yeah, you can um, have everything. You can have all your progress completely and totally wiped away in an instant. And you start to think that chasing your dreams is uh, just, just not viable. Huh? Yeah. Try your damnedest, but sometimes it's just not good enough. So it's hard. It's really hard. It's really hard to continue to go and work as hard as you do, knowing that it's not going to get appreciated, that it's um, just going to get weaponized against you so that lesser creatives, more authoritative sources get prioritized over your hard work. And it's demoralizing, but then you also have to realize that you can't continue to do this forever. I said this at the beginning of the year, maybe it was at the end of last year or something like that, that this year has to be the year that it works because chasing your dreams, following your passions, okay, doing what you love, all well and good and it sounds great and a Hallmark gift card, but your savings, your financing only keeps your head above water for so long and there's only so many years that you can pour yourself into a project and not have it bore any fruit. So what you're going to be seeing, and now this kind of comes back around to more of a channel update, because as incredibly thankful as I am for this platform, I also have to realize that uh, I can't keep doing this forever, okay? That this has to be the year where things take off, otherwise I'll just have to take off. And it's sad, and it tears me up, and it's something I have to think about a lot, and have been thinking about a lot. So, do you have a make or break date? in my head and if i can't keep it going consistently over the next few months well it's been fun it's it's been a ride it's been wonderful magical everything that you want to say about it okay but uh yeah have to have to grow up have to make it work in some other form or fashion so i've been like i said i've been experimenting with a couple of more or rather a couple of other topics and doing some different content ideas and yeah might see a few more changes i'm thinking about changing a couple of the timings releasing things a little bit more spread out through the day but long story short yeah um these next couple of months are going to be make or break and it's not going to be one of these you know long drawn out processes it's just simply going to be one day i'll be here one day i won't be and not like that it's not like that but as quickly as i showed up on the scene i'll just go ahead and get rid of it after that because i have people that i love in my life that i need to perform for and and continue to disappoint so you guys are going to be getting 110 percent to dawn going forward because like I said, man, this is my dream. There's nothing I would want more than to make this work. But if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to try to make something else work more than I've ever wanted it in my life. So yeah, starting tomorrow, and hell, probably even starting before you see this video, things are things are going to change for the better, for the better. And uh, your guys' continued support is very much appreciated. Let's Let's try to make this work and leave nothing leave nothing to chance and just really leave it all out there so thank you all very much once again and i always i always do legitimately mean this thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo I want you to follow your gut get after it take care everyone